Start by placing your right hand in a high D minor position, starting by playing A, F, D, A. Hold F, D, F, and repeat. Now fourth finger on G, A, G, F, E, D. Cross over with your fourth finger on C sharp, then B flat. Second finger on A, B flat, A, G. Cross over, play your third finger on F, E, Place your left hand in middle D position and play a broken fifth interval. D, A, D, A. Now stretch your pinky down to the C and play a broken sixth interval. Now move positions to a B flat and an F together. Now jump down, play an A. Jump back up to the C sharp, B, natural, and A sharp. Together we go together, right, together, right, left, right, together, right. Now repeat, together, Now together with your B chord. Now together with the A's. Together, right, together, right, together, right. Place your right hand in a D minor position playing A, F, D, A, F, D, F. Now stretch up to your pinky on the B flat, second finger on F, D, C with your pinky, B flat. Now move to a C position. Stretch your pinky to the A, second finger on E, C sharp, stretch up to the B flat, and A. The chord progression that you are about to learn will be repeated throughout the entire song. It goes like this. Play a broken fifth interval in your D position twice. Now move down to your B flat and F, playing twice. Then move up to your C position, fifth interval, playing twice. And finally move down to the A position, fifth interval, playing twice. Together, we go together, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, and then we repeat, stretching our pinky to B, now moving to the C position. Finally, the A position.
keep your right hand in the D minor position and play what we've done before, starting with our A, F, D. This time, stretch up to the D, walk up, D, E, F, and repeat. Now fourth finger on G, E, C, stretch up to the C, walk up from the E, tuck your thumb to A, four, A, fourth finger, now third finger walking down, tuck to your second finger. The left hand has the same chord progression you have learned before. In the D position, twice, now B twice, now up to C twice, and finally we're going to go to the A, only play an A octave chord. Cross over, play the C sharp, and E. Together we go to together, right, together, right with the stretch, left, right, together, right, and repeat in the B position, stretch, now C position, together, tuck, in the A position, together, together, crossover, third finger with the E, Once again, our right hand will be in the D minor position. This time, instead of playing A, we start off with our F. Now A, F, E, D, and repeat, stretch up to the B flat, walk down, now move your third finger to the C position, stretch your pinky, now move your thumb to A, third finger on C, D, E. For the left hand, instead of playing an open chord, we will be playing a three note closed chord, starting in our D position, D, together, now jump down to the lower D, then jump back to the last two notes, and again, D, this time stretch your thumb up to the B flat, jump down to the lower D, back, now in the C position, jump down to the C, Back to the last two notes. Now we have our F, C, F crossover. Together we have one. different position, now in the C position, thumb with your F, and finish it off with your D and C. And E.
along as I play through this section, we will be placing our right hand in a G position with our fourth finger on C. Repeat. Hold. Now repeat, only an octave lower. three positions in this section that we have to learn. The first one is a C position starting with C, G, C, crossing over to E, G, C, then moving down to a G position, G, D, G, crossing over to a B flat, and back to the C position, and finally an F position right here. C walking down, B flat, A cross your thumb to the G, F, E, D. The second half for the left hand starts in a C position then jump up to a C and E chord, now jump down to a low C, then back to the C and E chord. Now different position, we have a G, B flat, and D chord, now jump down to a lower G, back to the B flat and D chord, and return to your C position. Lower C, Now we have F, C, F, cross over to your G and A. Putting both sections of the left hand go together like this. G position. Back to C. Now F. G position. Back to C. And now F. Follow along as I play through this section nice and slowly. Now F position. Second half.
The rhythm for this section can be a little tricky, so let's work on it. We're going to stay in the G position that we were in before, only this time starting on our B flat. We have one and a two and fourth finger to the A. Now repeat, just an octave lower. Fourth finger to the A. Now we go down again and play. Now we move up this time and play a C sharp. And the notes for that is C sharp, C natural, B, and then C natural. Follow along as I show you this section's fingering for the left hand. We're going to start by placing our pinky on F, then our second finger goes on C sharp, and our thumb on C. Now we stretch our pointy finger to the A, G, and we repeat with our F. This time we jump down with our second finger on C sharp, and then C, and we walk down again. A, G, F. Now we have to stretch to our C, then our thumb goes to F, and we cross over and play G, A. Now the next section is easy because we're just going to jump down here and play a broken F octave chord, crossing over to the G, A. And we repeat that again, and three more times. Putting both hands together for this section can be tricky, so follow along as I play through it nice and slowly. We go together, together, right. Now fourth finger with the C, together, together. Now we repeat that with our F and our B flat, together with our C, together. Together. Now we have our walk up, stretch, cross over, play the right hand, and together with our C and our F. Now right hand, together, right, together. hand by itself. Last time. For this section, we are going to learn our right and left hand together. We're going to put them in an F position with our fifth interval with our left and our third interval with our right. We go left, left, right, left, pinky, together, and now together, thumb, 
cross over to the D. And now repeat. Now this time, play your thumb on the A and move your left hand to the A position, fifth interval. Together. Place your right hand in an A position with your fourth finger on D, walking down and back up, and repeat. Stretch your thumb to the G, back to the B, now pinky on E flat, D, C, C, now second finger on B flat to change to your thumb on C, third finger on E flat, For this section, we are going to work on the rhythm. We're going to start in a B position and it goes six counts each measure, one and two and three and four and five and six and now to the G position, same rhythm, one and two and three and four and five and six and one and two and three and four and one and two and now we move to an A flat, E flat, A flat octave, then move up to a C octave, C, G, C. Together, we go like so. Together. Follow along as I play the last section in part three. Also, keep in mind there are many things in this section that you already know. For instance, the first part. Repeat. Instead of moving up to the A position, we stay in the F position and play the A. Now move your third finger to the C sharp and walk up. This is the F octave chord three times. Follow along as I play through all of part C.
Congratulations, you are on the last part of this song. Let's learn both hands together because it's actually the easiest part of the song. Place your right hand on F, then your second finger on A, and your fourth finger on C. Now your left hand will be in an F position playing a broken fifth interval. So we start off with our C and our F together. Right, together, right, together, pinky, and now we repeat, only the left hand moves down to a sixth interval. And repeat again with the left hand moving down to a seventh interval. This time move your fourth finger to the B flat and your pinky to the C together. together with your F octave. For this section, we will be playing part B into the coda. Now part B actually changes a little bit and we'll talk about that when we get there. For now, let's just play through it. Now instead of jumping to the third section of part B, we're going to go straight into the coda.